Hi, Gemini. I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome to your mid-November 2022 Money and Career Tarot Reading. I do want to thank you so much for your presence and I want to remind you and thank you for hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already, and leaving me a comment, if not several, down below. But keep in mind that as we move forward with the reading, this is general, so just take what resonates and do not stress over what doesn't. But um, don't be surprised when the whole thing does resonate. Anyways, we're going to begin and pull from the Guilds of Terror Rail deck and see what we get for you. And I will leave two links down below, one for the playlist to the other placements within your chart to check out. Interestingly weird wording, kind of felt backwards, but as well for the monthly November uh, money and career reading for you if you haven't checked that out already. Let's aim on down and pull some cards. Alrighty, let's do some shuffling and see what tarot we get to begin. And then we're going to pull some small money and career messages uh, as well. I did in the first attempt to get this part of the reading accomplished, I got the message, take it day by day, take it day by day, however that pertains to you, for Gemini. Okay, the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups. There's a focus on your connection to your work, okay, on the people you're meeting, bonding with the most at work or through your business, people feeling very much connected to your passionate way of being, way of accomplishing, working. I do feel like there's the um, potential to meet somebody of importance throughout this second half of the month whether it's networking it could be somebody new in the work environment it could be in regards to an interview for some to jump into a new position it could be in regards to a business um, expansion but I feel like you're evidently giving off independent vibes this feeling about you in the work environment regardless of your position or even when it comes to the running of your business I have got this right I'm very independent and I'm going to take charge and do what I have to do when I have to do it. Um, but I feel like in certain ways, there's a golden way about how you achieve and develop throughout the second half of the month where you're gaining levels of abundance. Okay, they're saying don't take it for the main spread, but it's being mentioned for a reason. Okay, there is a feeling that as you're being pushed to remember, it's beneficial to take it day by day, step by step to break it down for oneself and not get overwhelmed with the overall vision you have for oneself or just all that you have to accomplish or just at times focusing on the unhealthiness of your work situation or where you live or, or both it could be another situation for you but i just feel like you're being pushed to recognize that just taking it moment by moment step by step day by day is so beneficial once again and that you will accomplish what you need to when you need to I feel like you're dealing with a stressful person at work or just at home. It could be more than one person for you in your midst or just that you're wrapped up with, but it's not helping you, okay? And that's coming through for a reason. Let's keep pulling. It's this feeling that you want a release from certain restrictions, right? At certain moments throughout the second half of the month, you're looking at the clock or just even feeling the need for a day to be wrapped up quick quickly it's like all right how do we make this day go by, go by quicker right but there's a need for you to enjoy oneself while you're there even if things aren't perfect um and that could be you sort of at times without meaning to rushing through the creating or the developing for your business right the work that you're producing um or it could be more so you feeling quite rushed at work whether that's more your feeling or it could be due to the energy in the air, other people's expectations, the heavy workload, um, wanting things to feel lighter, a very 10 of wands kind of vibe. The 10 of swords. So the number 10, 10 coming out, my friend, regardless of the fact that we mentioned that 10 of wands and the 10 of swords, the two heavier of the two, but it's that number coming out for a reason because it speaks upon abundance, right? Abundance flowing in at this time, even though things aren't feeling perfect. And I do feel as if there's, a bit of a burnt out vibe about you, right? You're tired. You are putting in so much hard work that it's leaving you exhausted and it's leaving you just depleted in certain ways. But you may be heavily affected by energy to the point where things are um, feeling a bit um, out of whack in that sense or it's just weighing you down. But it just reminds you why you desire a change in the future or just it may even remind you why you made a change in the recent past or just in the past in general okay things will switch up when they're meant to but i also feel like you need to be taking care of oneself in your downtime and implementing uh healthy amounts of self-care to make sure you're refreshed for the following day for the following week right to make sure that you have 
enough energy and resources to do what you got to do okay even to to face certain um obstacles head on okay or just maneuver around them in the most efficient manner but we have the eight of cups there's a reminder that you've got to do what's right for gemini okay and that comes up in your readings occasionally i do feel like you're also thinking back to past jobs you left in as a spiritual push okay um spirit pushing you to think back to past jobs that you left and how that did improve things for the better um or even when you left a unhealthy living situation inevitably to shift towards something better for oneself granted it wasn't perfection you ended up wrapped up with but it was a shift in the right direction for oneself regardless and i feel like this is preparation for or just a reminding that you need to prepare oneself for a shift in the future that will better your life the overall health of where you work or when you run your business or just living right uh, needing it to be relaxing i feel like someone's uh, making you just blank out at times or just on edge I feel like you're very spiritually connected being drawn to this reading as well okay the Empress coming into play because we've been speaking upon giving birth to something new needing for oneself to separate the days as well when you begin a new day at work or running your business or just in general do not carry the heaviness of the previous days or what you are accomplishing developing into that specific day right each day is a fresh start you're being reminded to begin again to uh, separate things and just okay move forth with a level of gratitude and fresh um fresh eyes okay fresh feelings um and it may be a little bit difficult at certain points but it's up to you to sort of do exactly what was just said okay your connection to nature will be beneficial and i feel like you're being reminded that your savings will take an increase in the second half of the month and more so moving forward but it's this feeling that you don't it's you may doubt to an extent that you'll have enough to invest in a new in a new living situation or to feel comfortable enough to move to a new position some of you thinking about getting a raise or a promotion which will help you um prosper more so moving forward a more comfortable more lucrative position for oneself however it works for you i'm also getting that you are going to be thinking about gifting people um i'm just hearing this at times feeling like there's not enough money and you just want more you crave more you need more right um but i do feel like there's going to be certain reminders you will have enough you'll have what you need when you need it and i feel like plus some for the majority drawn to this reading but um yeah it's just this feeling that you're doing what you have to do when you need to putting in that hard work and seeing things prosper because of it all the weather coming into play how that affects your mood your energy when working when at home but i do feel like there's a vibe about you where even though you're independent you're going to feel like you can't move super quickly why because you're burnt out right feeling a bit guarded at home at work you name it and that's um, speaking wonders in regards to what you're going through and just what you've been through up until this point Spirit saying, don't take the reminders of the past as a negative, right? Uh, and don't dwell in it, sit in it for too long. Allow it to, again, spark that motivation within oneself, that, um, okay, creativity, that uh, desire to begin again or just shift towards what will be healthier and more responsible for oneself, okay? Um, yeah, the Five of Cups, because there's part of you that is, that is expecting the worst. They want me to put it back. But I did get this vibe before, right? And I feel like it's uh, valid you expecting the worst or just focusing on the negatives at times, but um, or something progressing too slowly. But I just feel like there's a need for you to manifest more success and just what you desire at this time. But there's this passionate golden way about you that needs to be put to use to see the levels of success you desire to bring in even more financial success, okay? Don't let the emotions get in the way as I pull the King of Cups. And I feel like there's somebody with predictive nature. It could be you coming into play with these seahorses where there's informing of what lies ahead when it comes to your business or when it comes to your career in general, your job. The career advancement card coming out because I do feel like there's thoughts of how to advance oneself in your individual career. Again, a promotion when it comes to a new shift in position right gaining a new position um promotion within the same company it could be a new job in general um it could be in once again we were talking about interviewing or it could be in regards to um 
a shift towards success with your business. But I feel like your hard work is paying off, but it doesn't feel as rewarding 24 seven in the second half of the month as you'd like. Okay. But your mindset, your perspective on things, what you focus on can definitely assist in the right direction with that spotlight success. Whether you ask for it or not, you're going to be in the spotlight in the second half of the month. Okay. People are noticing the way you're feeling, the way you're working, how you're changing. Um, even for some that your foot is one foot is inside and the other foot is out the door, right? Considering or preparing to leave a, an opportunity once and for all to do better for oneself. But the savings increase card, because I do feel like once again, with that four of pentacles, you're seeing oneself with a pay okay increase, or you're seeing oneself with more money building up within your savings. And this will assist with the, um, the shift you need for your individual future. But I feel like the second half of the month talks about how you are best, uh, most productive when you're alone, okay? Or when you just keep to oneself at work, even if you do have to wrap oneself up with certain people um, from time to time, okay? Let's pull a couple more before we wrap this up. We have super success and golden opportunity, all right? And I do feel as if you're being reminded of a goal that you're about to achieve, or you are achieving it in the second half of the month depends on your individual situation but you're seeing this super success for you individually as i do feel like for the majority of to this reading there's a golden opportunity all right to succeed once again to upgrade to switch things up for the better and just see oneself more comfortable as you produce you develop and you head towards what is more so meant for you in the long run all right make it easy for yourself and just uh, prepare for certain changes, do what you have to do and allow for oneself to remember you have the knowledge and wisdom to see oneself ultra successful in the future as your savings takes a true increase. All right. So if this was truly helpful, sending you so much love and light, go enjoy the second half of the month and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye Gemini.